Good morning. Uh, now uh, I'm going to take you through uh, this uh, part two of making the sailing trimaran, the Trist 10. Uh, it's, this one is probably a, a little bit boring as well because we're setting out, but we, we still have to do the reference points, and the reference points this way is not taken from the center. So we, I will show you how we do that, and then I will uh, I will proceed then to uh, I will proceed then to cut them. The next video after that, or the one after that, will, will be a lot less boring because we'll be putting the boat together. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to do the two sides. Now, uh, the second sheet of plywood. Um, it's showing them coming from over there going down. But as it's a sandwich up and down, it makes no difference. So I'm just going to do it in a sandwich as if this is upside down because they are matching pairs. Uh, so it's once again like the last time there we are working on 400 but we're working on we'll mark them here because we're just going to square these off and we don't need uh i don't need the big square i have a square up there uh try square so i'm going to mark fours again uh, but that might last a little bit easier on my eyes So it's 400, 800, then 400, 800 again. Of course, if you're using a tape, you won't have to go it again. And then we'll do our last 400. And the bit that's left over then will be, what, 444. Whatever your sheet is, eight foot. Now, so I will use a. Uh, I'll use tri square. From when I used to do my own. Uh, it's not even. Um, it's. It's okay of a one, but it's good enough for the distance we're going in. So the biggest distance we're going in is three hundred. 370, there's two 370s down here near the end, is it? Yeah, that's going to be pretty much square there then. Well, well, it won't be, it'll be a little bit because of the hump here, but it'll be almost square. So, uh, I'm going to measure, I'm going to just draw the lines in, I'm going to guess. Uh, you can go either sides here, the square on both sides, this one. Whatever after, I forget what they call it in boating. Uh, there'll be some terms I will be coming up with, uh, and basically I'll be learning as I'm going along. So hopefully some of you as well. Even if you don't want to build the boat, maybe you might think about it. How simple it is. <laughs> That's what I'm saying now. And I never built a boat before. I can't. I'm not even able to swim properly, and. So, the first thing is a life jacket. Yes. <laughs> I know how a sail works. I know about low pressure and high pressure because we, uh, I used to have a private pilot's license. Uh, I am uh, going to do the measurements now, which uh, I'm going to do it upside down as I told you, but it makes no difference because it's this way. So the measurements are the same. And we will double check the measurements then again and then we will put the nail in again like we did the last time. No, that's right. And 370. And these two last two are the same. Uh, it says straight. It's written here, it's straight line. And then it curves in with the other part. It just he writes in straight there and uh, maybe he wants it straight there it shouldn't be well it will be would be because hmm. and anyway, the last two are 370 I'm just making sure that the, the 
the line is on that side of this and then I'm going to leave a little bit of the line in it. We were always told when we were, go uh, when we were doing our apprenticeship you cut the line in half, right? So <laughs> uh, even if it's a half a millimeter you're still supposed to cut the line in half but uh, for the purposes of this we are not working in half millimeters or quarter millimeters so we will uh, I'll go in. Sailing uh, this one. Uh, it's a big high up sail. I'm not sure what it's called. Is it called a gunter or something like that? Anyway, the, the, the thing is very high. Like it, in the drawing here, it says it's 4.4 4 meters high on this little boat. <gasps> That's twice the. It. So myself and Rex are going to draw the line here again. Don't push it in anywhere between the nails. So just push them in where the nails are. Rex, don't touch the top of it. Yeah, go on. So when you think you've got a fair curve, you might have to give it a little push. Yeah. And they're touching all the nails. Then you go down along with your pencil and you make your bolt. Good. I mean the last one is a straight straight I should say. It just it says it on the drawing that this one the next part that's added on is curved out all right, yeah. So now we have this part done. I'm going to cut these pieces. I'm going to cut this one and then make a duplicate of it over there. And then I will have this one done and then we will cut the bottom of the boat. Uh, I bought a jigsaw bit for my, my, my old Bosch broke. Oh God, I have it for 40 years and it decided to break. And I bought a new one. It's, it's easy to load, but the it takes the same bits. And I bought the bit, uh, fine one for it the other day. The problem is it's, it's really for doing curves. And it's not great for uh, holding... Uh, it's not great for holding a straight line. But we'll go slowly and we'll cut them. So, uh, put the saw on, on no, uh, no vibration and turn the, uh, the volume down. Or should I say the speed down and cut it a little bit outside the line. A little bit snaky, but I will do it up with the plane. I'll do it up with the small planer now. I live near the sea here. Everything gets destroyed with rust. And this is an expensive one. I'm just going to bring it down to the line. I kept it one millimeter away or so from the line. I'm not, it's not a perfect. It also uh, smoothens this a lot better because uh, the grain is less open in it. And then I will transfer this one over to the other one and I will plane that one as well. So I'm leaving, <laughs> as I said earlier, I'm leaving half of the line behind. And the line is one millimeter, so I'm leaving a half a millimeter behind. I think. <laughs> and then you look down along and you see have you got a fair or a less than fair curve. I was going to do with the spoke shape, but this is better. You will get a you will get a 
better uh, this way than with the spoke shave because you'll take out any little imperfections of it. Oh, that's, that's a nice curve now. We can sand this later if you want to, before you do it. So now we're going to transfer that over to the other side of the same board. So we're going to take it up here like this. And because this is the face and this is the inside, the sticker is on the inside, the stamp is on the outside. And I'm just going to move it out. There's a little bit of sag in it. You should, I should have left it down. It's because of the clamps we've lifted it up. But it should be okay. We will match them up and there'll be uh, Siamese twins then. And then I will cut that one. Just the same as the last one. There is my side. You see, that's the side of our boat. Okay, I've sandwiched the two pieces together and I'm after going down along them and, and they might, there was a half a millimeter off here and there. And what you do is you get your eye down along and look and is that a fair curve? That is like what you would see in this, in uh, architecture. Mm. So that's uh, the two sides finished. Hmm, there you go. Finished in, uh, in respect that we're not going to do any more with them for a while. And so we will put them to one side and then we will start cutting this piece in the middle that's left here. We have to cut all, we have to work out where all the pieces go out of that based on the drawing. And uh, we will move this one over. We will move this one over there and then, uh, then we will cut the bottom. So, okay, we have the bottom all, we have the, uh, sorry, the two sides finished. We'll just move our bottom back. Remember we marked this in the very beginning? And now we're going to cut that. Uh, and then after we have this, the bottom and the sides cut, then we will start cutting the other pieces from what's left over. And it's good practice. We already double measured everything. And it's always good practice to cut the biggest part first, nearly always, okay? Because if you do make a mistake, <laughs> if you cut the small ones, uh, so you just cut the big ones first. So I'm going to cut this nice and slowly with the saw. I'll cut, turn this around and cut the other side and then I'll get back to you then. Recording camera too. Okay, I've that one cut off. That was, uh, I sat up on top of it and done it there and it was actually easier to do. I left one millimeter here. I've already planed this one off uh, and now I'm going to do this one. And I have to go out now. I have some work to do. To tomorrow, uh, I might get two hours into it tomorrow, and I will uh, I will be cutting all the other all the other pieces of wood and and then the the uh, the wood framing pieces that go in as well as the transom. And the dwarfs. Uh, dwarfs. Dwarfs are the two pieces that hold in a bunkhead, in case you didn't know. I didn't know before. Uh, so a bunkhead inside in the boat, anything either side of that is called a dwarf. And we'll be making them as well. And then, uh, then we will be putting the frame on them, the, the, the two, uh, one by one. I think it's 20 mm by 20 mm we'll be putting on them. And we'll be putting it across the top of the boat. And then we will be will be ready for stitching so thank you for watching uh, today's video uh, I will put a link if you didn't see the last one I'll put a link up there to uh, the, la the one before it and the next one when it comes along in the next video we will be cutting the, the extra pieces and we will but we'll be butting them onto the sides and butting them onto the 
onto the bottom of the, the boat and then we will have the, the, the three main pieces of the boat put together and we will be making a inner stem as well and so uh, please uh, if you like it please subscribe uh, you know if you subscribe up there up there I think or is it up there subscribe and then you will be able to see the next video if you, if you select uh, bell and notifications and thank you for watching